Hello, back with a, another bonsai video. So in this shot I have two of my smaller creations. Um, I'll stick a ruler in here so you can see the general size. So from the tip of this crawling Camellia cypress pacifera to the end of the pot, it's roughly right now eight inches. And then I have here a triple red maple. These are um, cuttings of cuttings. So I've, I've been trying to create something that I haven't seen on the bonsai channels. I've watched a lot of bonsai channels and I wanted to create something I've never seen before. So one of the things I've been attempting to do is um, create fully grown trees with teeny tiny trunks like so this particular trunk I'll set the the tip of the ruler right there and there it is I'll bring it in I'll pick it up and bring it in so you can see it I have to clean it off it it gets this white powder I haven't heard that it's um that it's it's dangerous for the plant. But there you can see there's the centimeters and the inches. It's upside down. I'll flip it over. So you can see just how small that trunk is on this. Um so when I first started trying this project here with this Camellia cypress pacifera, I had about a hundred cuttings and about 10 survived and this one rooted i have another cutting that's a larger version of this it's in cascade or, or literati style and this one i have it so i'll set it on the table so you can get the gist of what i'm trying to get it i'll see i'll just set it there on the turntable as you can see it, it it's sort of cascading but it's crawling it'll be crawling across the table the bigger it gets and you can see that even here it has that triangular triangular or that conical shape right there it's just that it's going to be crawling across the table here i'm letting this develop i'm hoping that i'll be able to continue to reduce the leaf size i'm, I'm basically trying to create art with these living trees that I haven't seen before and so for my next project let me uh move this out the way and I will bring in this is a closed vase and what you see in it is a sprouted red maple so this vase is roughly nine inches tall so I'll bring it in so you can see the seed the sprout I should say and it's doing really well it's got great color and so I've had tested this vase to make sure I had planted a weed in it to see if it would grow and it did and so the vase isn't toxic um, it leaks somewhat it's closed on the bottom you can see here and but I like the old look of it I've had it this vase for almost eight years and now that I'm into this art, I decided to plant this red maple seed. I didn't do anything special. I tried to center it. As you can see, it's off a little bit. I guess when it pushed its way through, this is how it came up. So I, I turned it uh, both ways, this way and this way. And I like that it's not centered so even off centered like that it's perfect like it is so the next vase I'm going to be trying uh, 
is this one. Let's see if I can get that in. I'm going to grow a maple or just a regular maple. That's a red maple in the green vase. I'm going to try to grow just a regular uh, either silver maple or sycamore maple in that vase. I think the green color uh, we can even set. I'll turn this around to the back so it gets that color right next to it. So you can see how that plays against it. I think it'll look really nice. Um, what I'm going to do is put some rocks on the bottom and then I'll put a uh, some bark on top of the rocks and then I'll fill the rest up with a real quality soil and then I'm going to put the seed in and let it fight its way out like I did with this one. That particular one on the on in the green vase, the, the pale green vase, uh, that's pretty much uh, gravel, bark, and potting soil with some rocks in it, but it's mostly uh, old wood, and it's healthy. I, I, I put a teeny bit of fertilizer in there. Outside of that, um, nothing special, and, and I'll see if hopefully uh, both trees that I grow in these closed vases will do well uh, if I have to. I can, I'll be able to get them out. I've had vases like this before and I just crack them open if need be. They're not expensive vases. They have this rustic look to them to make them look cool, but um, I, I don't think they're uh, toxic for the plants, but just still trying to create uh, different pieces of art that I hadn't seen and looking at the various bonsai channels and even with this particular one these are just regular gravel that would be um, put on a road you know I love the, the color of that type of gravel it really plays well I'll put some extra extra light so you can see it it just really plays well against the green and whatever color vase you use. I have some others that I'm, I'm training, other cuttings. They don't have the, um, the character. Let me move this vase out the way so you can see how this looks when it's uh, overhanging. So if, it's were, if it were on a, um, a platform or stand, then it would overhang like so. And the other ones I've cut so far, they don't have that character that this one does. And so I'll just keep training this and, and I let it grow. I have not pruned this at all. I've had it in this vase just growing. And as it, I, I have repotted it a few times. But I'll just keep, um, I'll just keep trying and, and see what I create. I hope with this maple tree um, comp composition, that these small cuttings will branch and I can reduce the size of these leaves. Uh, I've been working them. This isn't the second year of working them. And uh, this particular leaf in the front here, let me turn it. That one, I'll point it out. This one here is a lot bigger than I like. Um, I'm hoping that they all, if you, let me bring this up so you can see here. If you look at this, I'll point it with the, uh, with the ruler. If you look at these here, this is about the size I want all of these leaves to be. Really small. And uh, I'm just gonna have to keep working it and stay patient. And hopefully, as the years go by, I'll be able to get that to reduce the way I want it to. That's pretty much it that I had for you. Um, just wanted to show you a few of the compositions that I'm working on. And hopefully those of you that have taken up this hobby are uh, having some luck. Have a good evening.